Hello everybody. Welcome to Adventures in Beekeeping. My name is Dale and I'm a second year beekeeper. Today is November the 27th, 2021 and it's about 51 degrees and it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. Today what we're going to do is we're going to do oxalic acid treatment we're going to do the fall oxalic acid treatment on all of the hives. It's kind of difficult to video this because I don't want to contaminate my uh, video equipment, so I'll do the best I can. So let me kind of give you the prep so that you can show I can show you all the things that I have. First, I have the Varox 12 volt uh, vaporizer. What you do is you put the oxalic acid in here and connect it up to a 12 volt power supply and I'm going to be using the truck for that purpose. Next thing I have that everybody should have is a respirator. This respirator will go right over my face like this and uh, will prevent the uh, entry of oxalic acid into my breathing. The next thing that I have is a pair of goggles. The goggles are to protect my eyes from the oxalic acid vapors. Then I have the exam gloves, the neoprene exam gloves, that will protect my hands. Also, I'm gonna be wearing my bee suit uh, so that any bees that are agitated by this uh, won't uh, be able to sting me. Uh, in addition, I have a bucket of water here. The water is there for uh, cooling the uh, vaporizer uh, when it's when it's done vaporizing in a particular hive. Uh, another thing that I have here is I've brought along two bricks. These two bricks are going to hold the vaporizer uh, because the wire is going to be dangling and over to the truck and everything. Um, this is going to hold the vaporizer in place while I put the oxalic acid in there. Um, also something that I do that I've discovered that I like is that this cloth is going to be used to block the entrance while the vaporizer is inside the uh, hive. But this cloth will also be used for the, like the 10 minutes uh, after the vaporization to keep the vapor inside. This cloth has been soaked in water, so it's, it's wet and that gives it some weight. And it also allows me to like push it into the corners and that kind of stuff. Um, also, all of the hives prior to this, uh, our previous oxalic acid uh, vaporization treatment, they've all been uh, taped up or any uh, seams or anything that were uh, showing uh, gaps, they've either they've been taped up or by this time I'm sure the bees have uh, uh, propolized them shut. Uh, some of the bees are out and about, it's a little bit warm but uh, I'm not going to open them. It's too cold to actually open them. All I'm going to do is uh, pull out the uh, entrance reducer, uh, stick the, vapor the vaporizer in, seal it up with a wet cloth, and connect it up to the battery. So these are my processes. This is what I've learned to do. Please don't use this as a training video. You need to do your own research on oxalic acid and do how to do the treatments. Oxalic acid is a dangerous uh, chemical and is dangerous for humans for eyes and uh, respiration. So please do your own homework. This is my experience. This is what I'm doing. Uh, this is what I've learned. But you need to do your own homework. This is the warning. I may be doing something incorrect, uh, but this is the way I understand what needs to be done. All right, I'm going to let the camera roll, and uh, I'll let, let it roll for one uh, session here on this hive. Um, we'll see how it goes. Also, I almost forgot, I have the smoker here. The smoker here is not to smoke the bees. We're not going to smoke the bees with the smoker. The smoker is here just to tell us which way the wind is blowing. So we'll keep this going and uh, that'll help us understand 
which way the wind is flowing so that during the process of the vaporization or the sublimation to be correct uh, the sublimation process and all the vapors are coming out will be upwind so we'll uh, try to stay upwind by using the smoke from the smoker as a, an indication of the wind direction Take this out, the bees are going to be a little bit late. We'll see what happens. We'll take it out and then we'll put the cloth back right away. And this goes directly into the water to cool it off. So it's been about 10-ish minutes. I've done three uh, four other hives. The fourth hive has been processed. So it's been about 10-ish 10 10 minutes. So I'm coming back to the first one. I only have four towels. So I'm coming back to the first one. I'm going to take out the towel and put the uh, interest reducer back in. That's it. Thank you for watching. God bless and have a great day.